I was living in the town of Puerto Vallarta in Mexico. In this video I'm gonna be taking the bus over to a nearby incredible town called Juanacaxle. It's really worth going there since it's more unique than most other cities I have seen in Mexico. Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be heading over to uh, Cruz de Juanacaxle. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna be going by myself because Maria had to take care of some phone calls in the United States. I've been going around to all these small towns um, around Puerto Vallarta. There are so many of them. Uh, Cruz de Juanacaxte is uh, another small town located just up the coast here a bit between Sayulita and Puerto Vallarta. Such a perfect day today. We're gonna be taking the bus like we have done all the other times when I've been going to. Uh, these smaller uh, towns along the coast here of Puerto Vallarta. So I am in the state of Jalisco now, which is where Puerto Vallarta is located. The town that I'm going to, just 30 minutes up the coast, is located in another state called Nayarit. I got on the local bus again. They had usually been really overcrowded, but I was really excited to head further up the coast. I took the bus into Walmart here. That's apparently where all the buses go from. Uh, they stop here. Sometimes they don't stop. But uh, this one apparently is gonna go to Punta de Mita. And on the way to Punta de Mita is Cruz de Guanacaxle. Donde esta el autobús a Punta de Mita? Found out that the bus is going from over here. Usually when I ask in Spanish, they reply in English, <laughs> which is good, I guess. Cruz de Guanacaxle. Adios, no, hasta luego. <laughs> I asked a few people now for the bus to Punta de Mita and Cruz de Juanacaxle, and they uh, told me that it's going here from the Galerias, which is where I used to go to the gym not long ago. <laughs> <laughs> so many buses that are just coming all the time, going back and forth. But hopefully we can find one here. Prepare for the Chile. Oh, Chile! Gracias. Good. Where are you? Mexico. Ciudad, ciudad de, ciudad de Mexico. I really need to learn Spanish. Actually, I don't know why I haven't practiced more. I've been by myself a lot, so I think that's why. I paid 25 pesos for the bus ride, which is about a dollar and 25 cents. I had been lost on the buses in Mexico so many times before, but I really enjoyed it. Go, so it's gonna be probably 40 minute ride, I would guess, maybe more, up to along the coast here and into Cruz de Juanacaxle. <laughs> I had tasted some of the chips full of chili and was going slowly up the coast next to the Bay of Banderas, which is the biggest bay in all of Mexico. The town is located at the upper part of the bay, close to other famous places such as Punta de Mita and Sayulita. The reason why I recently moved to this region in the west part of Mexico was because there are so many interesting places to explore here. Welcome everybody to Cruz de Juanacaxe. Just got off the bus, about a 25 kilometer bus ride, an hour and 20 minutes, a really, really slow bus ride, but I'm finally here, so we're gonna be walking down to the town and the beach and the marina. At the entrance of the town, there is a cross made of Juanacaxel wood. The story says that the town was named after it because lightning had struck a Juanacaxel tree and formed the cross. It seems really empty here, not all that many people, actually I see like nobody here. But uh, yeah, <laughs> what else have I seen along the way? I saw some people playing cards over there. It's almost too quiet here, I, I see almost nobody on the streets. It's really really empty. I wandered around the town with just a population of 1600 people before I would head down to the beach and the marina.
Hello, I'm here by the marina now. It was just uh, about a three minute walk down from the road and into this really incredible marina. I'm seeing so many really nice boats and we are gonna go and check it out and see what it all looks like from above, my friend. I saw a nice town from above with beaches and lots of empty areas with developments. The marina looked really nice and modern and is surprisingly large considering the town being so small. A bit further down I saw a beach that I would soon go and explore more. If you look closely you can see the mountains on the other side of the bay. I had seen from my drone shots that on the other side of the marina there was a really nice beach with empty areas but also lots of construction sites and houses being built. Here I could see some houses and apartments that had just been built. All these smaller towns and neighborhoods, uh, just like 20, 30, 40 miles outside of Puerto Vallarta, there are almost no people, it's so quiet and I'm sure you can buy property for like so much cheaper than what you do in uh, Puerto Vallarta and all these big cities. Walked over to the beach here, really white and empty nightstand beach. One little boat out here. Sometimes I find these nice places in Mexico where it seems like there are no tourists. I walked over to the other beach area and it reminded me a bit of the town of La Paz, also in the west side of Mexico. Tienes comida? Si. Pero es privado aquí. Es privado. I asked the guy over here if they had any food and he said they do but only for the hotel guests and he said that, that they had uh, recently opened this hotel It was a nice view looking out over the ocean I was about to walk to the end of the beach and sit down for some typical Mexican food In the background you can see Nuevo Vallarta, I made a video from there not long ago and also where I came from this morning is Puerto Vallarta right in there so I've just been going now further up along the coast a little bit further out here we have Punta Mita I'm also gonna go there in the coming weeks to record a really nice video a lot of ce celebrities go up to Punta Mita going further up along the beach here it looks like uh, there's a big restaurant over there at the end hopefully I can stop there and get some food seem to have some hotels a big swimming pool over there and way more people on this side I had arrived to some really white sand beaches and here I also saw hundreds of people enjoying this really incredible summer day in this area on top of the cliff you also have some really incredible houses facing the Pacific Ocean Now I'm here on the beach, seems to actually be a lot of tourists here and also I've seen a couple of hotels uh, on the way over here in the mountains. I stopped here to get some food, I got the chicharron de pescado, some kind of fish and also horchata. Horchata is a really good drink, it's like the, this white rice drink, I usually get it a lot or sometimes, unless I get coca-cola. Horchata. 
chicharron de pescado. <laughs> it's fried fish. I usually don't like uh, fried stuff so much. Or I try to do, I like fries. <laughs> but uh, not for fish. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, very good. I paid, uh, or no, I haven't paid yet. <laughs> uh, 200 pesos, $10 for this. Put one fried fish on the uh, tortilla, two fried fish, three fried fish, a bit of uh, guacamole, mm, nom, nom, nom. some beans. Mm, oh. I've had three, already three uh, uh, tortillas, and a bunch of guacamole, rice. Nom, nom, nom. We're gonna go back and run, I think, tonight with Maria. I'm gonna bring her for a run and then um, maybe for a bit of a pool tricks. Now it's time to jump in a bit and cool off. We're gonna cool off. Now we have to check the bottom, see if we can find something. The water was so refreshing, about 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 Celsius. The frying is always deep in Mexico. You can fry all year here, winter, summer, it's always summer almost. Now we're leaving the beach and heading out, we're gonna see if we can find the bus again. Du, 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 du must be here I did a guacamole I walked up on uh, some road here and uh, I had to check my map to see where I am so we have to walk a bit up this way now to find the bus and take the bus back to Puerto Vallarta, my friends. We have to enjoy this beautiful weather before the rainy season starts. Apparently there's a rainy season here in the west side of Mexico too. I was in the east side of Mexico and there was a hurricane season over there in the Caribbean from June until November. That was pretty rough. I stayed in Cancun during those months in the east side of Mexico and there were so many hurricanes that came in. We had to evacuate the building and stuff. <laughs> Where is the bus stop? I found the bus and about one hour later I'm Finally I was back. back my friends I am back in Puerto Vallarta the bus went a bit too far so I have to walk back home Hi B Hi. Hi Now we're getting ready to run Are you ready to do running work yet? I think so <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah repping the US Brains here outside on the road. I need somebody to push me because I've gone, I've done my own workouts like by myself for the longest time. Yeah. So I need you to push me. There was a road between the marina and the highway where I've been doing a lot of sprints in the past weeks. All right, let's see some sprints. Yeah, 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 yeah. Four sprints, we're gonna do some more once we get out to the marina here. I've been running a lot lately. I think it's the best form of exercise. Now we're in the marina. Oh, we did a bunch of sprints here. Now it's time to jump into the pool. Yeah. I just jumped in. It felt so good and so refreshing to cool off again. Oh, Cool off. We're both cooling off now. We have successfully cooled off now. 
We are back home. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And as always, if you like watching it, please subscribe to my channel. Leave the video a thumbs up and post a comment. See you next time.